The physics department at Imperial College London is one of the largest in the UK. We work on lots of different areas, but we work internationally to be able to do that. Some of the areas, for example, uh, some of our scientists were involved in the discovery of the Higgs boson. We have people working on spacecraft missions, on climate physics. But from my perspective, working together as a unit is the best way to get the best science out. In the physics department, the way in which we arrange our research is we've got four main themes, and those themes are fundamental physics, condensed matter physics, photon science, and space, plasma, and climate. From my time in the physics department, I think what I'm most proud of is my involvement in the Cassini mission. The involvement that we've had, it was over a 25-year period, and for me, it was the support from the department that enabled us to have the involvement that we did, right from designing the instrument and building it here, through to launching it and doing the science that we did at Saturn for the last 13 years. Here at Imperial College, I'm looking at creating high energy density physics material. That's creating matter at extremes of density, pressure and temperature. And for that, we take millions of amperes of current and discharge that over hundreds of nanoseconds into the material of interest. Questions about how plasmas behave in particular aren't very well known. There's often bits of physics that are missing, which we're aiming to recreate with these experiments. For instance, it could look better at how to create nuclear fusion in the laboratory, and we need to know exactly how the atoms behave near one another in that case. For lasers used to create different diagnostics for our largest experiment here, it creates scattering, and that tells us the density and the temperature of the plasmas inside the machine. It also creates radiography, enabling us to see into really dense materials to see what's going on as shockwaves pass through them. So Imperial College is so good for plasma physics because of the people who are here and because of the experimental facilities that we have on site. So some of the big questions in cosmology today we're exploring are related to the dark components of the universe, for instance dark energy and the cosmological constant problem, or dark matter, and also the, where the universe comes from, the very beginning of the universe and if there was an alternative um, to the hot Big Bang uh, story. A lot of my work is related to understanding the nature of the graviton and its behaviour, particularly on cosmological scales. My collaborators are really worldwide, from Japan to the US, Latin America, South Africa, and a lot, of course, in the UK as well. I collaborate with many different people here in the theory group at, uh, at Imperial, but it's also essential to have collaborators worldwide, and in the US in particular. The theory group at Imperial College is known to be one of the leaders in the world, so it's very exciting to be here. And one of the aspects, of course, is being based in London, brings in a lot of visitors that pass through, so there's the opportunity for a lot of collaboration. Within the Department of Physics, I'm studying light in nanostructural material, uh, nanophotonics, and uh, in particular we are investigating light in complex systems, systems that cannot be explained by looking at a single building block. And uh, in those we are looking at emergent phenomena, uh, localization of light, uh, we try to make new kinds of lasers and study how this can lead to new quantum technologies. So one of the most exciting topics we are working on now is uh, complex networks. Um, we are studying at meshes of sub-wavelength waveguide, where you can trap single emitter and trap light. And uh, we are now bringing natural physics to optics, and, uh, and this is opening a new exciting scenario for light-matter interaction. The Department of Physics is a vibrant environment and it's full of great scientists and there's always something going on and, and a lot of research and yet it's a very uh, collaborative environment. We have very strong open door policy that makes it a great place to work. At Imperial College I work on quantum mechanics and so many of the things that we're doing are in the context of uh, quantum information but we are more on the physics side and not so much on the um, computer science side as many other people. I think that theoretical quantum physics is important because on the one hand it helps us to understand for example how the classical world emerges from the underlying quantum mechanical world and then we can also support our experimental colleagues in the development of applications that we promise to society. I think I can advance my work at Imperial College very well because we have a really large number of highly gifted students and that really helps us to be productive in our projects and really make very rapid progress. Our students benefit from working at Imperial College because they're being taught by some of the best lecturers who are also researchers in their fields. When those lecturers are then looking for people to join their research groups, the undergraduates are actually the first choice. And then they'll become PhD students and hopefully even become researchers in the field on their own. Into the future, we plan to ensure that our research programme continues its high-profile nature, our international 
collaboration continues apace and that our teaching program goes from strength to strength.